Antarctica, the huge unknown ice-bound continent on the bottom of the world, is yielding its secrets to man. Dr. Vivian Fuchs' convoy, battling nearly a thousand miles across forbidding plains and huge mountains, has reached the South Pole, a place where few creatures would choose to live, and which is marked by an American base brought here by aircraft. Reaching the pole is not so difficult as it used to be if you go by air, but the overland journey from Shackleton Base, where the expedition ship Theron lies, is still a task few men would undertake, especially stopping every few miles, as the Fuchs party have done, to take geological soundings. For all this preparation was for a scientific purpose. Before he sailed for the Antarctic, Dr. Fuchs explained how he proposed to tackle the job. Well, of course, the, our Theron trip this year has really cleared up quite a lot, and we know what we're up against. We've got the crevassed area, and then there's the mountain 75 miles in, and yes. once we're over those, I think that uh, we can say we're clear away to the pole, taking us from there right up to this point. But um, uh, really, we've got to um, consider what happens to Hillary's um, uh, party. He's going in, lays the depot, and yes. then has to divert for mountains. How far he can go on, we don't know, but between the pole and the depot, he'll meet us. As we now know, Hillary did better than that. He too reached the pole overland, and later flew back there to welcome his colleague. Preparations were made for Dr. Fuchs' arrival, and after a rest, he started on the second half of his journey, following Sir Edmund's trail in reverse all the way to Scott Base, in a race against the approaching darkness of the polar winter, to complete a double Commonwealth triumph.